Hey guys, so if you're new here, everything that is on my face so far will be listed in the description box along with any additional products that I will be applying in the video. So we are going to start with this. You may have watched my recent Dollar Tree videos that I did. Well, I didn't expect to like that Dollar Tree lip gloss that I used as much as I did. So I went back to Dollar Tree to get another one uh, because you never know with Dollar Tree products how long they're going to be around. And I thought, hmm, maybe I should take a look at that peach collection again. And I did. And I ended up buying this as well from that same collection. It, the LA Colors Peach Collection is on a cardboard display, like at my Dollar Tree, it's on the bottom shelf. And this is a lip and cheek, cheek and lip oil. And the shade is peachy pink. And generally I do like things that are peachy pink. And this is a, one of those pH, balancing things so the color is going to be different on everybody and I was like cheek oil that's different but we're going to try that out today and see how that is because I did really like the lip gloss so let's um <laughs> never used a cheek oil before so this should be interesting um Let's just take a little bit of this. And I'm thinking that if I use my fingers, that the warmth from my finger may even help, like stimulate the blood flow to work with the product. Okay, so I don't know if the color I'm getting is from the actual product that I just applied or just because I stimulated the blood flow in that area. But I mean, you can definitely see a difference. So let's try the other side. And so I'm just dotting this on. Oh, okay. It does have, the product does have color to it. I just noticed that as I was applying it. Okay. So yeah, that actually um, does work. Now, I don't use a lot of powder products, so that's going to make a difference in terms of, you know, putting oil on your face, and you want to keep that in mind. I, didn't ha I don't have anything powder on right now, so, but we are going to use something powder as the next step. Now, I, whenever I find products and show them to you in a haul, I always say I'm going to incorporate them into future videos, so that's what we're going to do. This is the Ioni Face Highlighter in Glow, and then it says um, Brighten and Shine on the back. This is from the Zodiac Collection, which has been around for a long time now. But I saw this, and I didn't have it, and I thought it was really pretty. It's like a very pale gold. So let's grab a highlight brush and pick some of that up. And that should apply really nice over that oil. But we're just going to go right along the top of my cheekbone. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, this has been around a long time. But I have a feeling that Dollar Tree keeps bringing in new stock to replenish the Ioni displays. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, that's that's going to go with a lot of different things. And I just put an elastic around it. And by the end of today, hopefully this will close all by itself or stay closed, I should say, because when you first get this, the way that it's packaged, it's open. So it takes a couple days of using an elastic to get it to stay closed. Okay, now I've already prepped my eyes with my Holy Grail ColourPop Shadow Stick and Bear With Me. This is 
like the first step in my eye makeup routine. Now, I don't use it as an eyeshadow primer per se, but I do put it in the um I put it in the crease and then I put it in the outer corner. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at this eye and I'm thinking that I could use a tiny bit more on this eye, but that's what I've been doing ever since I bought this, is I've been using this in the crease and outer corner in the outer part of my lid and starting off every eye makeup look with it. I just am so wild about this color because it's pink, it's peach, it's nude, it's just the perfect color to start my eye makeup with. So we are going to be trying out this Moira Total Match Duo Shadow in number two, Peaches and Cream. And what this is, is you get a matte shadow on one side and a shimmer on the other. I have not tried this yet, and I got this in my last Moira order that I placed. So we're going to try that out today. So I'm going to start by taking the matte shadow. And I'm going to put some of that on the inner part of my lid. Okay, I'm just using the applicator. I thought I was going to need a brush, but this is actually applying quite easily just by using the applicator, which really surprises me. Thought I was going to need to use a brush. Wow, this is very convenient and easy, you guys. You know what? Let's take it all the way across and see if we can layer that shimmer shatter shadow over it. Wow, okay. I'm saying wow because I wasn't expecting it to go on so nice. Because uh, I've never heard anybody talk about this product before. I usually do one eye at a time, but I'm going to do both because I want to really give this a chance to dry. And I'm thinking that maybe if I do both eyes. I'll be able to work with the other one faster. Yeah, peach is such a hot color right now because Pantone chose it as the color of the year for 2024. So I think I need to get some peach clothing. I wore my brown sweater today because I knew I was going to be incorporating some brown into this look because brown and peach looks so nice together. So I figured I would use my brown sweater, but I don't have much in my wardrobe in the way of peach. Wow, that applied really easy, you guys, and blended really nice. I'm so surprised. Okay, um, now, while I'm waiting for that to dry, why don't we do our brow bone highlight? And what I'm going to use is the Be Pure Eyebrow Highlighter from Dollar Tree. This is infused with green tea, and it's just a really nice neutral shade that um, highlights the brow bone. It's 
So I'm just using the, the pencil itself to apply it. And I think I'm just going to take my finger and just blend that a little bit. And I'm also going to do inner corner with this as well. It's just a nice neutral, like creamy color that has a hint of like peachy pink. So that should be perfect for this. Okay. All right. Now, hopefully that shadow is dry. It feels like it's already dry, which is great. So let's take the shimmer shade on the other side and see if we can layer that. Now, don't forget, I already have the ColourPop cream shadow on, and then I just added this cream shadow. So I don't know how many creams we can get away with using here, but Let's put the shimmer shade on top. Now, if I use a brush, that might mess this up. So I think if I use a tapping motion with my finger, it might blend more easily and won't hopefully disturb it as much. So I more or less used the peach color as like a base color because I am putting this shimmer on top. Okay, that's pretty. Getting a tiny bit of fallout, but not too bad. There's still quite a bit of product on the brush here, so I'm just going to work with what is on the brush because I don't want to go too ham with this and make a big goopy mess. Yeah, this should be enough on the applicator that I can use this without dipping back into it. Okay, that's pretty. I'm really surprised that that applied as easily as it did. Now it looks more sparkly on this side, so I'm just going to take a little bit more because I want this to be even. All right, that's better. Yeah, we want to have the same amount of shimmer and sparkle on both sides. Okay, now I'm going to let that set up. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in Espresso. And I'm going to take a detail brush. And I'm going to put some of that because I like peach and brown together. So I'm going to just drag some of that and use this as a liner and just drag that along my lower lash line. Like that. Okay. And these set up and don't move. So you can use it as an eyeshadow or as an eyeliner like I'm using. And it's not going to move around. It's a very nice formula and they come in a lot of different colors and 
Um, they still sell these Revlon cream shadows at Walmart and CVS are the two places that I've been buying them. I used to use them all the time years ago and then I just kind of forgot about them because you know everything is like new 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 people tend to focus on that but I was like I'm gonna pick those some of those up again so I used the cherry blossom one recently in a video this is the espresso and I still also have the black current one that I want to use which is a gorgeous cool toned purple but it has some depth of color to it, like a grayish black mixed in with it. It's it's beautiful. So I'm going to try to incorporate the black current one into a video too. Okay. Um, this one here just needs a tiny bit more. try to make my makeup as symmetrical as possible and make it even looking on both sides. All right, so hopefully that uh, Moira shadow is drying down because now I have three cream eyeshadows on my eyes. Feels pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go in with a powder now. I showed this to you in a Dollar Tree haul not too long ago and it is the LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Trendy. And this has been reformulated so many times you guys and this is the latest formulation which I have not tried and it's all browns. And I said you know peach and brown was going to be the color scheme of the day here. So what we are going to do is take a clean brush and we're going to go into this chocolate brown shade in the corner here. And I'm picking up some of that on my brush and we are going to put that in the outer part of my eye look here for some depth and dimension. Yay! You know, when you work with LA Colors eyeshadows from Dollar Tree, you never know how it's going to perform, and I am happy to say that I am getting pigment here. Yay! Of course, the fact that I'm putting it over a cream helps probably quite a bit. In terms of showing up, because it's acting like an eyeshadow base. So I'm just trying to work it into the outer part of my lid and this whole outside corner section. Yeah, peach and brown, you cannot go wrong with that color combination. All right, yay. I'm so glad this worked out because I was doing some swatches of this palette and I was like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, working with the cream as a base or creams, plural, because really I've got three cream eyeshadows on. Oh, and in case you're wondering, if you read the description box, you would see, um, I have, when I apply my foundation and concealer I always put a little bit on the eye area as well so I actually have if you count that then I have what five cream products in the eye area so it's no wonder that this powder is sinking into that easily and blending beautifully because it's got all that cream to merge with because when you take a 
LA Colors Dollar Tree Dollar 25 eyeshadow palette and try to put it over a standard eyeshadow primer or dry skin, forget it. You're not going to be able to do anything with it. So just keep that in mind. If you're struggling with your shadows that are inexpensive, give them, give them a cream base to adhere to. I mean, look at how nicely that's showing up there. Okay, so I want to go in with more of a blending brush now and just kind of give that a blend. All right, now let's put this aside. And what we're gonna do next is curl my lashes. And when you're using the eyelash curler, if you tilt it back at a little bit of an angle, it's going to help with the curl. And I like to just switch back and forth only because I don't have the patience to hold it each one as long as I should. So, okay. And I'm going to revisit this mascara that I bought at Dollar Tree by LA Colors. It's the volumizing and lengthening. It's the one in the pink tube because I remember when I bought this, I thought it was really good. So seeing as how I'm using uh, quite a bit of Dollar Tree makeup today, why not, right? This hourglass shaped wand helps, I feel like, when you're depositing the color. I think that's a good part of the reason why this mascara works. I always start with the bottom lashes so that I don't get transfer on top. Okay, so I want a pinky peach lip liner, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cream Glide lip liner in Pinky Swear because this is definitely a pinky peach liner. e.l.f. sent me an email this morning. 
saying, is it time to restock? And they were referencing all the lip liners. And I thought, wow, how fast do they think I'm going through these lip liners? How could I possibly have used a whole one already? Maybe if you use the same one every day, I suppose it's possible, but not likely, even so. Yeah, these are these are nice. You know what? I think I better fill in my lips and give that a base because I feel like it's going to need a colored base because my lips are not pinky peach. So yeah, let's let that pinky peach color kind of sink into my entire lip area because I also want to try this LA Colors um, Cheek and Lip Oil on my lips because this is supposed to be pH. So yeah, let's see what color we get. And it does smell like peaches. Okay. So that, my friends, is the finished look. And I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I would say thumbs up on the Moira Total Match Duo Shadow. That applied so easily. I didn't even have to use a brush. And using a patting motion with your finger to blend it seems to work really well after you use the applicator to apply it initially. And I mean, I only used one shade in the LA colors, but that color in the corner, that chocolate brown worked great as a, you know, to accent and highlight the entire look. And then the Revlon cream shadow and espresso worked great as an eyeliner underneath my eyes. So, and I think that cut, that highlighter by Ioni is very pretty. And th this worked, um, this worked good as a lip and cheek oil. Yeah. Cheek, cheek oil. That's, something different. But thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Helps my channel when you give it a thumbs up. So thanks guys. Bye-bye.